Hello everyone, I'm Tommy from Tommy's Reptiles. Everyone who loves turtles has their own personal favorite, and mine happens to be the Diamondback Terrapin. I originally got my first Diamondback Terrapin about six years ago, and I ordered it to be a male, but it turned out to be a female, so she's way too big for a fish tank, so I keep her outdoors in a big horse trough. In this video, I'll be talking a little bit about Diamondback Terrapins, but I'll more specifically be talking about my Diamondback Terrapin right behind me, and his name is Bungie. I got Bungie from a good friend right after he hatched out of the egg and he was about the size of a quarter. Check out this footage of little Bungie's first swim ever. My dream was always to have a Diamondback Terrapin male that I can keep inside and a fish tank would have adequate room for him to swim around in. But of course, like all my reptiles, I plan to upgrade Bungie to a much bigger aquarium in the future. So right now, Bungie is currently housed in the 60 gallon aquarium. It's got a nice basking log, it's got a sandy bottom, it's got a fake plant, some rocks, and this awesome wave maker. In the wild, Diamondback Terrapins are known to be America's only brackish water turtle. And brackish, is a mix between salt and fresh water. Since Bungie did not ever live in brackish water, I actually keep him in fresh water. But some people like to keep their Diamondback Terrapins in brackish water, so they add a certain amount of salt to the water to make it brackish. One of the main reasons that Diamondback Terrapins are my favorite turtle is because they look absolutely stunning. They could have blue skin, white skin, a purpley colored skin. Their shells are different patterns and colors. And since male Diamondback Terrapins only get up to around five inches, in my opinion, it's a perfect pet turtle for me and other people that want to keep a smaller turtle inside their house. Let's get a closer look at Bungie. Here he is. He's inquisitive, he's energetic, and he's always hungry. And as you can see, he's pretty small. And this guy is almost full grown. I want to say he's three and a half to four years old, and I don't see him getting much bigger than this. But as you can see, he's got really cool speckled patterns on his skin. His skin is a pretty cool color. And um, the bottom of the shell is like a nice yellow color. And then the top, it looks like he's shedding his scoots, but I like how the top of their shells have these kind of like spike looking patterns. Um, I always thought that was super cool. And besides being an all around smaller turtle, you could also tell he's a male from his long thick tail. All right, buddy, I'll put you back in the water. This is his current basking spot. It's just temporary. I'm gonna give him a much bigger one, but uh, he still climbs out and basks. So this is what I give him as a staple for his diet. Um, I often switch different types of turtle food just to keep it different. I also feed him fish and shrimp, and once in a while, I give him a bug. So let's see if he feeds something. And a little rule of thumb of feeding turtles, they say feed the turtle the amount of food that could fit inside of the size of his head because I guess their heads are the same size as their stomachs. So I'm guessing that's about the size of his head, so let's throw it in and give him something to eat. Like I said, he's always hungry. He's always looking for something to eat. I'll give him some more turtle food. So let's see if he's still hungry. Come on, buddy, go get the food before the fish eat it all. There he goes, he knows it's here. Now I'll leave you guys with some footage of bungee eating.
I really hope that you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching Tommy's Reptiles.